Hey everybody, this is Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Thanks for uh, watching again today. We have a quick lesson on how to type way, 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 way faster than you normally would by using a cheaters program, sort of. There's um, a free version called Speed Typing, and I'll have a link to download that for free in um, the video description. There's also a paid version, which is a little bit better. Um, it includes, you can include images and you can kind of have subfolders and subdirectories of different types of um, uh, uh, words and phrases and things like that. I'll show you. Down here in the tray here, you see speed typing, this little blue thing. So I'm going to double click there. And over here in the menu, you see this is speed typing. The paid version is called Color Pilot. I'll have a link to both of those if you want to. Uh, download the free or the paid version. You can just click on the link in the video description. But so let's um, let's check out this first one, HWD. This one and info one and long name are all defaults, so they come with the program. So I'm going to just do HWD and show you that what it'll do. And this one is um, let me zoom in here on A1. So if I do HWD in a cell, it won't do anything because I, what I need to do is double click on the cell to get into some kind of a text or word processing mode I guess but then it works HWD so as soon as I typed the D the final character it erased, it erased the whole thing that I typed and typed over it have a wonderful day so and then let's do that one now let's click here INFO1 now this one uh, we had the option of delimiting it or, or requiring, uh, excuse me, requiring a delimiter, requiring something like a comma or hitting tab or the space bar. So I'll hit space bar. And when I did that, it typed all this junk into cell A2. Silver Pilot converts negative photos into positive. Sound Pilot does this, that, and the other. Yada, yada. So info, just by typing info1, it gave you all this good stuff here. It's basically uh, telling about their different uh, programs at colorpilot.com. So, but anyway, that's how it works. Let's look at a word processing thing. And then I'm going to show you how it helps you, the programmer. And we're going to go over uh, creating a couple of our own special ones. So just to show you that one more time, info, oops. So info one space bar and it types all this good stuff now you could have uh, pages and pages of, of code or, or uh, paragraphs of something if you commonly write something like you know thanks for thanks for subscribing or you know or just just like we did earlier have a wonderful day I'd all I have to do is HWD how, how easy is that it's great for medical transcriptionists uh, legal uh, persons who type crazy big words like I don't know amoxicillin blah 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 you would you could just put AMX and it would type it out for you so let's put that into perspective from a programmers standpoint and let's go back into Excel let's erase these and let's shrink it down to a normal size Oops. so let's go to alt f11 let's go into our visual basic editor and basically let's just make a new module so and we'll make a test macro by typing sub test macro and uh, so so how do we norm normally we start off by uh, declaring something as a sheet and then getting the last row and all that stuff what if you wanted to automate that what if you do it all the time and you kinda of wanna fill in the blank template well speed typing or color pilot or um, yeah type pilot would be your best friend so let's make one okay from scratch click on new and here's what we want it to say actually let's backtrack I'm gonna go ahead and create what I want it to say and then I'm gonna just copy and paste it so we're gonna declare WS as a worksheet we're going to set WS equals uh, this work this workbook dot sheets and we're going to say I'm just going to put um, a one underscore that will remind me that I need to fill that part in uh, so this workbook dot sheets blah 
and then um, ws last row. The last row we commonly need to get that one. We're going to do a for next loop, looping through all the things. Typically, you're going to go from cell two to whatever the last row is. So let's set it up a little template like that. Okay. Last row is ws dot cells, and we're going to go rows dot count using column one, which is a uh, dot in going from the last cell in the whole thing on column A going to the very end going upwards we learned about that in our last video how that works and we're going to get the row not the actual cell value but just whatever the row number is of that cell that's the last row right there and da, 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 da. hmm yeah that's not bad that's a pretty good starting point but we could we could go one further we're going to loop through cells two through the last row so that's my little note and here we go we're gonna say for x is two to WSLR next x go up and hit tab and boom so this is gorgeous let's have that uh, all you know on standby for us. So I hit Control C to copy. I'm going to open up color uh, speed typing. Excuse me. Double click there, and I'm going to click on New. And you notice whatever's currently on the clipboard, it kind of automatically assumes you might want that to be your new phrase, and it sure is. So, what's my keyword going to be? Let's do. Um, how about? Um, my VB or my VBA I don't know something you can name it something more clever but I'm drawing a blank here so we're gonna do that and here's your three choices of the reaction and I'll describe them to you as follows if you click on auto uh, the phrase is see it says the phrase is inserted immediately after the keyword so as soon as I type M Y V B as soon as the A is hit, boom, it erases it and types all this junk. So, but, and then the next option is this one. This says a dividing symbol is required after the keyword. So like a comma or um, a colon or a semicolon or a slash or, or a tab or a space bar. So basically you have to type M-Y-V-B-A space bar or a comma and then the comma will be erased as well as the myvba and all this stuff will be inserted the third option is really similar to the second option except that it will type all this stuff but it will keep your space bar it will type all this stuff and it will keep your comma at the very end so it says dividing symbol is required but the divider is inserted as well capiche so I am going to do the auto. I don't want to have to hit a space or anything at this point. Uh, now the paste method is clipboard, keyboard, or use global setting. I just leave it on the default because I haven't had much. Pro I haven't had any problems with it. So let's just say we're going to create a new macro. My new macro. Whoops. Sub. My new macro. Oh, let's see. I don't want to type all that stuff from scratch. How about my VBA? Oh, looky there. That's so nice. And we'll just say sheet one. And now we're ready to loop. So we're going to say ws.cells uh, x in column one is how about flowers? and the number of whatever x is. So it'll be flowers 1, flowers 2, flowers 3. And uh, let's do that. So if you'll let's see we're going to the last row. Let's just fill in something here. Like so. So it'll go from 2 to 6. So alt F11, get back into the visual basic editor. Now let's go through one at a time. So right now x is 2 and so oh, there's flowers 2, flowers 3. R4, R5, R6, and the macros on. So anyway, that's how to use um, speed typing. Remember, you can look at the video description to get either uh, uh, type pilot or speed typing, and you can make up your own phrases. You can do that. You could the, on their website they say, you know, 
I've written 12 letters today. And then the other guy says, well, I've written 112 letters today. So he's kind of bragging, you know, because he's using this program to write letters and to get a lot more accomplished. So if you use this, you really can. You can uh, get a lot more work done. And uh, it's very, very efficient. But the paid version called Type Pilot is the version where you can actually insert pictures and uh, OLE objects and all kinds of good stuff like that. So you can actually have a full letter or a full like um, um, brochure or something with a, a keystroke, you know, a couple letters and hit the space bar or whatever, and it'll type in this whole brochure, good to go, pasted for you. So very cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, God bless.